Hey, it's Crockett 36, and here we are doing America's Turn. What did Japan do? Turn three, I think it is. Um, he didn't do a J1, so, yep, turn three. So, what did Japan do? Let's take a look. Um, they invaded. I had uh, forces here, Chinese forces. I had destroyed his, his invasion force. And then he tried to take me back, but didn't have a lot of um, troops, had a lot of planes. I was actually able to wipe out that and take out a plane, um, but he did destroy my five units. Uh, so good dice rolling on my part, awesome. And then uh, this was a tough battle for him, and uh, and he again lost a good amount. And uh, there was lots of misses, tons of misses, but he did accomplish that golden uh, rule of Japanese um, uh, fighting, and that is the Money Islands. And then he con con uh, congealed in 20, which has a naval base, of course, out of Hong Kong, and now an air base. And uh, he did build also a factory in um, Hong Kong, and also he has one in Shanghai, and it produced three mechs out of that. And the rest is the same. His bonus went to an infantry, and he has six infantry and one artillery and three anti-aircraft in Japan. So... Uh, Six, nine, ten units. Fortunately, my planes wouldn't actually fight in the battle. Because they fly off. One, two, three, four. If they're a long-range aircraft, they might, though. Let's, um... So this is my purchases. Uh, $80. So there's a black chip at the bottom. I want to buy two tech. Now I'm tempted to buy four, if I can get that long-range aircraft, actually. I would actually put one, two, three, four, five. Nope, they, they don't go in the battle. One, two, three, four, five. They would go in the battle. So that would be four units plus the two. They get shot at. Bombardments. One, two, three. I do not think that is... This is the time for that. Not yet. Oh, there's actually not even four. This is a single unit. All right, let's see what we got. So we're gonna um, roll a two. And we're gonna drop this in there. And we get a one, which is not successful, even though in the rest of the game, ones are extremely successful. All right, we do have some battling to do. Um, oh, I did, buy, uh, so 10 dice, so that was 10, and I'll get to roll that again. Put that back up there. I got a one, so I'll put that up there for next time. That is like the anniversary edition. This is what I'm buying um, with the $70, uh, 16, and this makes uh, 12, uh, that's 28. And then uh, there's three of these. Um, actually, I think I dropped off a sub. Let me check this out. So uh, this 16. 21, that's 37, and 8 is 45, 51, 61, 71, and 9 is $80. Yes, it is. All right, what are we doing? Okay, so the big study right here, and it's a study in the game I'm studying right now. Uh, this guy, by the way, um, Andrew A. A. Gamer put his airbase here, Schultze. Uh, Might have been a better place, but um, incredible. Uh, he actually took out a lot of the islands to make sure he couldn't land. So I'm trying to see that, and I don't see it yet. One, two, three. Um, so this plane, these planes in 20 would go one, two, three. And then they would have to land. And they couldn't land on any of the plane uh, islands because they needed one more space. One, two, three, four. So they have to land on the aircraft carriers. Um, these come from the airbase. I think he's doing this to scramble. One, two, three, four. He has to land. They have, they have to, so the only planes that can make it are the uh, three divers, three fighters, one bomber. I think can make it. I'm assuming one, two, three, four, five, mm, five. five. Yeah, they can land the Marianas, the Palo. Uh, so... 
Uh, I'm not concerned about an attack, I don't think. Uh, one, two, three, four. Well, these won't be attacking. So one, two, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight plus the six is 14, 15. So I can see 15 attackers. I am in a minute going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, uh, fifteen, sixteen. Did I count those? Um, so right there as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen with just this stuff up here, because I do have to check out these transports. Um, so seventeen versus I think it was six, seven, eight, nine, nine, uh, seven, eight, twelve, sixteen, seventeen. So it's dead even, so I'm going to have to... Um, but uh, my carriers can be used as uh, fodder, and his will be in the battle. They can also be used as fodder. So the big question is, do I pull, pull out or not? So let's see. I'm not 100% sure exactly what to do. So I did see the game and in the game with... Um, Andrew and uh, and farm, farm boy, he did pull out of um, Carolina's for a turn. So I'll be honest and say I'm not 100% sure. So let's keep going, though. Um, we are going to battle here. Um, we'll take out the easy ones. Uh, one, one guy coming in there. That is a defending transport, by the way. And then uh, one guy's coming in here. And again, that is a defending transport. Red for battle. Uh, now, here, um, this, I think I've got to do this. Uh, this goes one, two, three. It will not make it. So this has got to go here. For sure. You know, I'll leave this one for those subs and I'll send this sub up there. So this can be taken care of. One, two, three. And that one can be taken care of too. So we're going to fight all four. Oh, wait. This is the one that's sketchy. One, two, three. So I'm going to have to leave that one. Nope. I'm not going after that one. Not Because th this defends it a one and this defends it a one. Honestly, I don't need to need to be at, at a disadvantage at this point in time. So I'm going to put that there. And actually, I'm going to fight all these battles myself with destroyers. And that will give me the, all those subs over there in the battle. If I choose to do that. Is that all my, all my, okay, so probably I'm going to 54, I think. I'm trying to play a little less, a little more conservative. This will give him lots to do. So if I'm going to 54, actually, then I will send the 62 sub over here. And I will send this one here, and this one will actually stay with the, the force. Since we he, he has four destroyers, we want to make him use those destroyers if we can. Whereas the uh, the destroyers can be used um, as um, is that right? Uh, can be used oh, killed by the airplanes. All right, and the question then becomes: Do I try to take over one of these islands? The answer, I think, is no. And I think I'll leave that to the... Oh, boy. And that's even difficult with the um, Anzac because uh, I took the anti-aircraft instead of the artillery. 
All right, well, I'm excited to have that. So, and I'm excited to keep the advantage and I'm excited not to lose the advantage. And I'm putting on the board in the Pacific Ocean a bunch of units and he put zero um, units. So I think this is defensive, but I've got to think a little more cautiously. So I will do that battle, uh, those battles, and then I'm gonna move over and do the battle for uh, Gibraltar. But let's fight these battles right now. That's what Schultz does. He usually fights them one at a time. Um, so I want to fight those battles for right now. This is the. Uh, this will be the stand-in for the. Um, for the transports, three transports, and this is the the uh, stand-in for the um, submarine of forty-two. Okay, and we both miss. We both miss. Foggy weather rolled in. And we both missed. Was that the same five that keeps popping? And I got a six this time. And a one, and he hits, but I have surprise attack and he doesn't. So if he had hit me, I would have died, but if I, but because I hit him first, I have surprise attack, he doesn't have a destroyer. So he dies. I believe that's the way that goes. All right, I'm gonna change my dice out. All right, and here we go for the destroyer action off Celebes. And I get a hit. All right, and now destroyer action off of Borneo, and I get a hit. Oh, what is up with these dice? Okay, so that is the combat on this side of the board. I do not think I have anything else. Let me just look. I'm not going to Philippines. Um, it's tempting. Uh, there is um, substantial forces there, and he would use a lot of his resources to, to kill that, but his navy would still be strong afterward. All right, let's, uh, let's go over there to this side of the board where we have an infantry and an artillery manning a boat to invade um, Gibraltar. And then we have an infantry here and an infantry there. It's hard to see. Um, and two mech. Um, those are both mech. Uh, let me see if I got it. Of course, I put that up. I set this on a tripod. Get myself a mech. Um, actually, I'll just get myself a chip. There we go. Okay, so obviously in this battle, I get a um, bombard bombardment. All right, that'll do. It was too much. All right, I'm gonna, I am gonna set this up. Move everything forward. So the destroyer comes in here. Transport, defending transport. Transport. So there's actually um, going to be three guys and three. Yeah, yeah, three. Um, three of those. Then the sub comes in here as well. Put the sub on the inside. <clears throat> there are two infantry still in um, Brazil. I will try to chip that out. Okay, uh, two infantry there. There are three infantry there. It's actually three. All right, so that's uh, six dice. Let's go check it out. What happens?
All right, so I will bring in defending transports. Not okay, and the fighters obviously come in there. Two fighters, that'll be two blues. And then I get uh, uh, three greens. And mine will all be the numbered dice. I'll give my opponent the grasshopper dice. So this was um, the three dice, the two fighters, and then I get a bombardment uh, from a battleship and a bombardment from a cruiser. Oh, and I have two infantry that are unaccompanied. Uh, let's see. So... The mech, the mech, so this is a two and a two, and then it's only two greens. I don't know why I said three. Um, and then the uh, mech, two mech, there's ones, there's two black dice, and then uh, uh, two of those are ones. All right, and and then the bombardment of the cruiser is the third blue, and the um, bombardment is the red dice. Okay, that'll all be my dice, and then his dice are three greens and one blue, and I'll give him grasshopper dice. All right, and I will drop them all at once. And like I said, mine are all the numbered dice. His are the grasshopper dice. And I'm actually not going to use the top this time. Because there is a lot of dice. All right. Oh, he has got some grasshopper dice popping right there. Uh, let's see. This misses. These miss. That misses. Oh, jeez. Did that turn over? Uh, the blue. The blue missed. The four the four is a battleship hit. Um, the one is a hit. Uh, I gotta, I gotta check that to make sure that turned over correctly. The green is a miss. The one is a hit. And that's it. And I'll just stop the action to check that. So I, I he gets two hits. And I get three hits. Stop this. All right, continuing on. It did not turn over. I did not turn it over. Um, so there are three hits. He has three hits. That'll be his three, two infantry and one artillery. And he had two hits. So I'll take off two of the men. And that leaves me. I'm going to just mess with the dice. So right now, if we looked at his dice, um, he loses all the greens. And then I would lose, he keeps the blue, that's his grasshopper. I lose the uh, bombardments, so I'll lose the two right there. And we press on with um, what amounts to three infantry. Uh, and then... Um, Yes, three infantry. So instead of five inf um, instead of five ones, which is what we should have rolled, and we did not roll five ones. No, no, sorry. Um, we do, shouldn't have rolled five ones. We should have rolled four ones, and now and now we're rolling two ones. There we go. Okay, and we're rolling two elevated, and then two fighters. And then his dice as well. And here we go. All right. Wow. Okay. We got some ones. Look at those ones pop. And I swear that moved, but I don't know. Anyways, he's dead. Great roll on my part. And here we are. We took him out. Gibraltar is not American. Gibraltar is in the hands of the British again. 
Um, they just owe us a lot. Okay, and uh, I did lose one, so that would be one infantry. All right, so let's uh, let's do some non-coms, and then we'll place our units. Okay, so over here, uh, they're non-comps. I will walk these guys up here to British. Um, and I'm just going to put a dice there because it is so dark um, that I want to be able to see that they're there. So I'll put this yellow dice here. So just in case we all know that those guys, because the transport can just go one, two, and right on there. So that would be really good. Oh boy. All right. Operation Torch, almost, kind of. Planes land. Oh, the bomber. Okay, so bomber wants to go on a bombing raid, for sure. That's Germany. Um, so let's do that. His dice would obviously be a one, and I'll use a uh, grasshopper dice for that. And then mine would be six. I mean, a uh, black dice. Uh, okay, so I got a, I got a nice I got a bombing raid dice right here. Okay, so let me show you the grasshopper dice. All right, here we go, and there it is. Okay, and here's the bombing raid dice. Okay, twist this. Bombing raid West Germany. He misses. I get a five, which ends up being a seven because it was um, not opposed by fighters. So seven damage on the factory in West Germany. And that will go back to London. So we can do it again next turn. Um, I don't necessarily need those fighters on those planes, so let's see if we can make it one, two, three, four. So, unless we wanted to move up there, that'd be interesting. Uh, my transports would be stranded alone to face the German bomber. I mean, the Italian bomber. So, no. One, one, two, three, four. Okay, I think the fleet is fine the way it is. All right, that is going to stay. Everything over here is good, and I will actually even place over there, um, placing two transports and two infantry. And then... And then um, over here, uh, the um, the tank and the mech have got to come this way. Got to keep those boats running. All right, so that would be the European side. Over here, we want all these. We're convoying these as well, obviously. Um, and here is where we go down to 54. I'm going to set up the uh, tripod. Oh, and we're kind of going this is on six, hopefully for more than one. We're still in Philippines. Uh, so one, two, three. So I would love to be a pain in the butt right now. So no, we're not going to, we're not going to withdraw from that actually. Um, Um, I'll use the destroyers. So, I'm going to add a last, um, a last battle. And I'm going to grab I don't necessarily understand all this. But I, I saw someone do this. And um, 
He said he was taking out landing spots. And this guy's really good. And if he said it, I believe it. So I'm going to take out the Marianas. And I am going to... I would love to block right now. But um, if I do that, I'm going to really wear down my force. But he's got a lot to do, actually. He's got a lot to do or he'll be... Or he'll be in um, some trouble. So I'm tempted to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to block Pillow. Six, seven. I'm going to bring this fighter down. I'm going to bring these two fighters down. I'm going to bring this, put it on the uh, island. I'm going to bring the subs down. I'm going to bring um, the transport and also infantry and artillery. The aircraft carrier comes out. The aircraft comes out. Sub comes out. Aircraft carrier on the board. A transport there. There's an infantry. Um, there's two fighters. Excuse me. Okay, I wanted to put something over on the other side. Did I do that? No, I think I think I think at this point in time. Just in case, just in case, I think I'll have a strong Navy and I'll have severely weakened him and convoyed him. Yeah, he has a lot to do on his to-do list. I'm thinking that's good. All right, let's, uh, uh, that, this actually can stay back. Because I am going to have a three-plane scramble already with the um, Anzac fighters. All right, so that would mean that the recap was one infantry. You can barely see them. And uh, in West Coast, I've got a, a two. Um, did I roll two guys? <laughs> I can't remember if I rolled two dice. I paid for two dice. Holy smokes, I didn't roll two dice. Crap. That was dumb. Oh my goodness. Here's a dice. Rolling for my second dice. Oh no. Oh, I got a six. Oh wow. Okay. Um, well, obviously it's long range aircraft. Um, Oh, super sub is really tempting. Oh, boy. Okay, um, yeah, we're 10 minutes in, and I was already... I'm going to continue with the recap. I'm not going to redo do my turn. Definitely not. Uh, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do... Um, shipyards. Shipyards. It's absolutely shipyards. That's that's why is there even a question in my mind? Shipyards, which means I get money back actually. Um, so shucks. All right. So this would have cost five. That's a dollar. This would have cost thirteen. Uh, that's four dollars. This would have cost a dollar cheaper and a dollar cheaper. So three, four, five, six, six dollars. I should have kept, but didn't. And then over here, that's two more dollars. So eight dollars that I could have put on the board. Um, 
I will just bank that because it's kind of unfair to just pull that. I can't believe I did that. All right, so that's uh, five. And I pull up no ones. Hmm. Here's, a, I'm going to change out of five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that five. This is the eight dollars that I should have used <laughs> earlier. Stupid. Wow, I can't believe I did that. All right, recap. Um, going back again. Is a very cheap carrier and cheap transport and sub and destroyer and two fighters and infantry on west coast with one only one dice to roll uh, off of um hawaii is a, a fighter a carrier with a fighter and a diver and a sub on hawaii itself is an anti-aircraft and infantry and the marianas is an infantry and a defending transport in 20 season 22 a sub in season six um, there are two aircraft carriers, a battleship, American battleship, um, two American cruisers, and two American subs. There's two fighters, um, four fighters on the boats, equaling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven units. These have landed, um, and then twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then hit points, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. And then hopefully there'll be a few more. All right, there's a destroyer in 44. There's a destroyer in 43. There's a sub in 42. And there's two in the Philippines. A lot of friends. Look at that. MacArthur sent, sent help this time. There's two infantry in British Guiana. There's two transports in 101. There's um, three anti-aircraft. Uh, a truck, an infantry, a tank, an infantry. Two infantry, a truck, a tank. All right. And then in 91, there are one, two, three transports, a destroyer, a cruiser, a battleship, an aircraft carrier, two fighters, and a sub. And then on Gibraltar, there are one infantry and two mech. Oh, that maybe it wasn't the best losses. Hmm. All right, that'll do. Uh, as far as money goes, um, so I know that I get 72, plus I get a $5 bonus, 77. Um, so I don't operate the way that everybody else does with their bonus system. So that's 77 plus... Um, the three, uh, and uh, I'm sorry, 77, 70, that's 77, um, plus eight, and that would be 85. Any convoying? I don't think so. Okay, that's it. Card 36 out.